What is going on guys? Penzik here with Reaper Gaming. Today we're going to take a look at a new hard drive that I just picked up for my PS4. And I do apologize if you can't really see the label here. The lighting is pretty crap. Um, so what I'm going to do is it's plain Jane box. It's in the box already. This is the Seagate Fire Cuda Gaming SSHD. Now this is the hybrid solid state driver HD combo. Um, you know, I... I Finally got sick of deleting games back and forth on my PS4 because the 500 gig hard drive just does not cut it. Um, and I wanted something a little bit more, so I got the 2 terabyte model. Um, and this, like I said, this is the hybrid SSD HD from Seagate here. Now this is comes with a five-year warranty, runs for the 2 terabyte model, about 106 um, we'll think of, what was it exactly? I mean, you want on Amazon. Now, as you guys know, if you have a 500 gig console, whether it's the Xbox One, whatever, or even PC, it doesn't hold many games anymore since games are 60 gigs plus. I run a lot of MMOs, so stock hard drive just not cutting it. Um, now they say this is five times faster than a standard hard drive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up against the standard hard drive with a test of loading Grand Theft Auto 5. And if you guys do not know, and if you should, you should. When you get to load the story mode, that thing takes forever. Now that one is a direct install onto my hard drive, so that one is going to be the best one to test against, I do believe, when we go through and test it. Now, um, it does come with a little instruction book, tells you about the warranty all that fine and dandy stuff in different languages um you know other than that not really not really much help seagate limited warranty book so it just tells you what the warranty is now so far i've got the normal size hard drive i've got a four terabyte hard drive in my pc of this thing um and i absolutely love it it's not it's not the fastest spindle speed they have for the normal size but it is a lot faster than my old one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my PS4 from over here. We're going to start disconnecting a lot of this stuff. And we're going to get this installed. Now, like I said, um, I think with the 500 gig stock hard drive um, and what I use it for, there is tons and just tons of stuff that I can't install anymore. I just don't have the space for anymore. Um, as you can see, my PS4 is dusty as can be. Let's see if I can get this up here the best I can. Wipe it off real quick. I do blow this thing out constantly. And let me see that I do it. I should have already done it. I've already got the USB stick set up for the firmware and everything else. So I was just waiting for the hard drive to come in. So we're going to get this all taken care of. We're going to start the install here. We're going to see how well it goes. But as I was saying, with the stock hard drive... Um, I play a lot of MMOs, so Final Fantasy XIV and ESO I have installed, and those things just absolutely crush my hard drive. So it literally leaves me, I want to say, room for maybe three or four more games, and that's it. So this is the stock hard drive in the PS4. It is only a 500 gig. Um, and like I said, as you guys know, with games at 60 minimum, 60 minimum, that's not, up, that's not including updates or anything else like that, um, it fills up fast. So and typically to remove this, I don't know if you guys seen it, but there is a main screw here with all the fancy PlayStation logos on there, the triangle X circle square. I don't know if you guys can see it. I am sorry if you cannot. Um, that one pulls out the tray, and then there's four screws around the tray which hold the hard drive into the hard drive caddy. So we're going to get these screws pulled out, we're going to get the new hard drive mounted, we're going to get it pulled in, install the software, pour it. That way we can get everything taken care of. Okay, so let's get this thing out. Um, installation is pretty straightforward, the only thing you really need to do um, is make sure when you go to put the new hard drive in that you line it up the way it came out. So, we're going to pull that. Just slide straight out. Let's 
to open the static bag up. Take a look at the fancy schmancy. Nice and pretty. Um, you know, pretty much straightforward install wise. So when they came out, this one came out label side up. Uh, so this one should go label side up. Same way. Um, you know, pretty straightforward. No major issues when it comes to these things. This is an easy task if you're not familiar with doing this. It's not rocket science, so you can do it yourself, no issue. So let me get this started. So we're going to put that screw in there. We'll come over to the other side. We'll get the other front screw in. That way everything is lined up. I'm going to put the little rubber grommet insert back in. Alright, so let's see. Rubber grommet is back in. There's little rubber grommets. That way you're not tightening against the metal and everything's ground out there essentially screw wise um, and then it helps with vibration the pretty much they're there for vibration purposes only now the reason I chose this one over a standard uh, SSD is I don't know if you guys have ever priced them but typically like a one terabyte SSD is probably I want to say at least 200 at least um, 200 they're they're extremely expensive if you were to get a two terabyte ssd and give me one second i've got I've got amazon up so let's get this slid in and we'll actually check it so one last screw here tighten that down we're going to set this off to the side let's go grab amazon real quick we're going to do we'll do samsung is by far the Evos, Samsung Evo, two terabyte. So two terabyte Samsung Evo SSD is six hundred and fifty dollars. Um, I have no desire to put that much money into my PS4. Um, so I won't. One hundred and six dollars, I can justify. Now everything slips and clips back together. I'm going to get it all set back up. We're going to do the video test um, up of you know, performance here side by side um, for loading Grand Theft Auto. And we'll see how well it does. And you know we'll go over the benefits here once everything is done. Stay tuned, guys.
Alright guys, as you can see, that Grand Theft Auto test there, it had me a little worried at first. It looked like the normal hard drive was beating out the new SSHD hybrid, but in the end, the SSHD hybrid beat it by almost a uh, full 11 seconds there, which is kind of nice. Um, you know, no complaints from me there, a little bit of faster load, and then the money. The reason I bought it was I finally am able to start getting all my games reinstalled here and not have to worry about space. Now, if you go take a look, uh, let's go break it down. Let's see how much storage we have left after everything I've installed so far. And I still haven't done all of my all of my games just yet. So, we're at 798 gig. I know Final Fantasy's probably gonna have to do an update. Uh, ESO's probably gonna have to do an update, but that's, that's we're halfway of our usable is 177 after the system interface and everything like that takes up a good 200 300 gig it looks like the way it's set up um so definitely subtracts a little bit there which is never fun but this is definitely still three times larger than what we originally had and like i said everything else is installed it's there um you know it's not limiting me the way it was so I can go ahead and get the rest of my games installed and I don't have to worry about it like I said though this is up there on the budget side if you're just doing budget upgrades but definitely well worth it if you have a ton of games that you need to keep installed or if you go back back and forth if you're only playing one game doesn't matter but definitely worth the the financial investment to get it to what you needed to do if you guys do have any questions, comments, or concerns about this hard drive, um, leave a comment, message below. Uh, I'll answer it the best I could. If this video helped you at all, answered any questions, please give us a thumbs up. If you disliked it, dislike it. Um, let us know what we can do better to help you a lot. As always, if you could subscribe, guys, it'll greatly help.